So on today's Ticket Tip Thursday, we're talking all about buying tickets last minute to make sure you get into the big game. Let's begin. Welcome back. My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Pay attention if you want to hit one. So you know all the details about the game, you know exactly where to find the seats, but you're not sure when to buy them. Let's go through a real life example, shall we? Game one of the World Series just happened a couple days ago on Tuesday. You're getting all excited, you're getting all amped up. I want to go to game two. All right, what do I gotta do? So well, I didn't buy tickets immediately on the primary market when they first went on sale a couple weeks back, so I gotta go buy them on the resale market. Okay, fine, when should I buy them? Should I buy them right now, right the second when I decided that I wanna go, or should I chance it and then buy them last minute? And by last minute, I mean, you know, anywhere in that last 24 hours. What's gonna happen if you wait? Will there be any seats left? Will the prices go up? Will the prices go down? Will the prices stay stagnant? Well, let me show you. So on Tuesday, 8.07, I jumped onto StubHub, see what tickets were still available for the first pitch at 8.08. If I were standing right outside the building waiting to go in, these would have been my options. Could have gotten into the building for $188, plus fees, plus taxes, plus, you know, all that other jazz. But we're going to talk about prices, pre-fees. So look at this, we could get in for 188 bucks right now, or I could go right behind home plate for 400 bucks. I mean, where are you going to get that kind of value? This is for the World Series, okay? These prices, unheard of, absolutely unheard of. If you tried to buy them even on the prime market, you're probably looking at around that same price, maybe even a bit more. So there's some significant, significant savings going on right here. So if you take a look, buy them absolutely last minute, last second, there were some deals there. But let's now take a look at the next game, game two, the next day. So at the same time, I took a look at game two tickets. So the getting price then, 330 bucks. But then there's also, again, looking at those prime, prime seats. What are they going for? They're going for, you know, quite a bit of money. Something in my teeth. What is this? I need to floss again. Best seats in between first and third, about 900 bucks. A bit pricey. Don't, don't really want to spend that much money. Even getting into the game is still over 300 bucks, $330, right? So it's, it's a lot of dollars. All right, fine. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait till the next morning after game one is over. So next day you wake up, 10 a.m., you've just started your work day, and now you're like, okay, time to buy some tickets. Yes. $375, they were $330 to get in yesterday. What's going on? Let me Strike explain one. to you. There are two things happening here. One, supply is reducing. Basically, tickets are being bought, people want to go to that event. Yes, there are people who had seats available for sale, but as you know, as time goes on, people will constantly keep buying tickets, buying tickets, buying tickets. There'll be fewer and fewer and fewer. That just leads to a small supply, therefore potentially higher prices. However, in the same train of thought, as you get closer to the game, the demand for those seats is also going down because everybody who wants to go already has their seat. But when I take a look at what's behind home plate now in those same seats, yesterday, now I can get in $750, $150 savings instantly just by waiting 12 hours. So easy. So if you're ready to go and snap those seats up, you can do it right now. Or, or, you can wait even more. You know, double down, because what's the worst that could happen? Huh? you can always get in. Let's do it. Okay. So then you're like, okay, fine. 10 o'clock, it's still too early. There should be someone who's desperate to get rid of the seats last, last second. Now you're half your work day is done. You've had your lunch break. You're, you know, you're in that groove and you get that lull. Like, oh, I don't really feel like doing work anymore. I don't know what to do. Let's think about World Series tickets. Let's try and buy some tickets now. Two o'clock, let's take a look. Remember, get in prices at the time, $375. Just get in that building. Now we take a look. Ooh, things are looking a bit better now. 350, exciting. But if I want those really good seats, so no change there, but 750, only about 400 seats left. Not a lot of seats, so we're getting kind of in that very dangerously close area now. You know, even just a couple hours earlier, there were over almost 600 seats. We already sold almost 200 seats in just like three or four hours. Now you have a thought, okay, okay. So that 750 seat right behind home plate, still there. You know, maybe that person will get desperate soon, but get in prices, they went down a little bit. So let's, uh, let's double down yet again. Oh. 530 rolls around, just finishing work. Okay, I really wanna go to this game. I'm ready to go. Let's take a look at those tickets. So we jump on over, we take a look. Oh my, 400 tickets left. Ooh, actually went up a little bit. I think at the get in price. $258, yeah, and look where those seats are. They're even in a better zone than the pavilion seats in the back. You know, like this is this is good stuff. Let's take a look at those great seats though now. Look at this, $478, oh my gosh. Right behind home plate, row 11. Even like five hours ago, these same seats were going for almost $1,000. They're basically giving these away. If I had even bought these other tickets, 330 bucks, sitting in the nosebleeds way in the other end of the building, now I guess they're right behind home plate for just 150 bucks more than that. I mean, sign me up, this is like, Big money time, like this is amazing. Like, this was me and I was in Texas and I could go to the game, I'm like, yes, 
by now. Take, take my money, I want to sit right there. But then you're thinking, okay, fine. It's come down this much already. What if I wait just a little bit more? Little, little, little bit more. What could possibly go wrong? Well, so now, 7.42 p.m. Game starts in 25 minutes. I've driven up right outside the building. I'm ready to walk to the gate, but I don't got my seats. What do I do? I take a look. So we jump on in, we're getting all excited. Only 88 seats left. This is, this is a bit worrying. Tickets $215, but look, oh, all the way in the back now. That's tough, that's tough. And then I look at the map, oh no. Oh no, even just looking at the map, now you can tell. There's not a lot of seats behind home plate. Uh oh. Oh no, over a thousand dollars just to sit behind home plate. Oh, the dream is dead. Strike two. Waited too long. Now I take a look. There are, you know, some in mezzanine seats there, 460 bucks, but could have been a whole section, a whole entire section lower, same price. I would say this is a loss. I would take say this. That's pretty bad. It's pretty rough. Basically, there are some options there. It's not the best. You're not so happy anymore. The excitement's kind of died down. You're like, oh, I can still get in the building cheap, but I could have gone in the building for the same price at a better location, or I could have even paid a little bit more, gone amazing seats right behind home plate. Ah, <sighs> you're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, they're gonna sell tickets for a bit longer, right? They're gonna let me get in maybe even after game starts. So let's let's wait a bit more. There's about 80 seats left. Maybe there'll be some stragglers. So you wait some more. Okay. Fine. Okay, fine. We'll wait. We'll try one last time. 818. 10 minutes past first pitch. 52 tickets left. Not good. Lowest price, 360 bucks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not looking good at all. This is, this is bad. <gasps> but wait. Home plate seats. Row four. 670 bucks? You gotta jump on that. You gotta jump on that right now. You you need that right now. That was a thousand bucks, not 20 minutes ago. It's already come down six, seven. You, you know, it's not just you now. It's, it's you are fighting all the other people who are also looking to buy some seats. That is a good deal, my friend. You, if you were waiting for a deal, I mean, that's it. That's the one right there. So, I mean, that's the story. Basically what I'm trying to say is buying tickets last minute, it's more of an art form. There is a point in the day between the amount of seats that are left, the amount people are willing to spend, and how desperate people are to actually get rid of those seats. It's a whole lot of things balancing in the air there. You gotta juggle all these different elements to figure out when is the best time to actually go ahead and buy those seats. Because the answer isn't always as clear. Sometimes at an event, the closer you get to it, the price just keeps going up, 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 up. Other times the exact opposite will happen. It really, really depends. What I've personally found for big game events, essentially the closer you get to game time, the better the deals you'll find. The prices will still be relatively high, but at the same time, in comparison to other resale values that you're seeing, you're gonna be able to find some deals. With that being said, those deals aren't always going to be in the sections you're looking for. Again, as you get closer to the event starting time, there's fewer and fewer seats available. There are other people who are also looking to buy those same seats as you. So you're gonna be competing with other buyers who are looking to get those deals. If the only thing you care about is getting in the building, then I think you have a great chance of being able to wait almost, you know, almost last, last, last second to actually do that because there's gonna be some desperate seller who's saying, I need to get rid of these seats. Let's pump the price last second to make sure that those seats end up getting sold. Not all games, not all events will be able to be sold after the game starts. They will just stop sales as soon as the game begins. Other times for bigger name events, generally you'll go half hour, maybe even an hour into the game to still get those last straggler sales done. But generally speaking, for most run-of-the-mill events, sales will normally stop as the game actually starts. A few sites, obviously, different sites, they'll have different selling policies. Basically, if you're trying to buy tickets last minute, again, it's very important that you have an idea in mind of where you want to sit, how much you want to pay for it, but then you also got to work with what's being given to you. If you start looking at that 24-hour mark before the game is about to get, get going, that's kind of where you get a baseline of what things are looking like, but then by the time you get in the morning, you should have a very good idea of what you actually want to do. You should have a price point in mind and once it hits it, you just go and snap it up. Because if you keep waiting, someone else is probably doing the same thing as you and they're just gonna take those tickets before you. So if you think, oh, I can get a better deal than that, yes, it's possible. But at the same time, if somebody is coming along saying, oh, I was gonna pay $1,000 for seats and now they're only $700, yes, please, they're gonna go buy them up even before they get down to that $500 price point. With that being said, doesn't mean you can't go ahead and play and gamble a little bit more and just keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting. But at the same time, the longer you wait, the more of the game you're gonna miss potentially if you go after start time. And those seats, they may just not show up at all. 
Buying tickets last minute, there is definitely a lot of play involved there. You got to be very careful. You got to be diligent in what you're looking for. You have, but you have to be ready to pull that trigger. You can't always just be waiting, 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 because if you wait too long, you're going to miss the whole event. Next thing you know, you got no seats. You showed up. You're just standing out there looking at the building. Looks so nice. Looks so fancy. People are outside having a lot of fun. And you're outside just staring at the wall. I mean, it's... No. no. We're in the business of having fun and staring at walls, as exciting as it may be, is not fun enough. I, I cannot condone such things. Therefore, you gotta make sure you're ready to pull that trigger and once it hits that price, but you pull it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because the only way you can get Ticket Tip Thursday is pushed to you every single Thursday. It's not being a subscriber. It's, it's, it's scientifically proven that a Ticket Tip Thursday can only be sent to you if you're subscribed. Just something to think about. That's all I got for today and see you guys next time.